The numbers are disheartening at best. Ontario, Alberta, British Columbia, provinces are trying to cope with a steady increase in COVID-19 cases six months after the pandemic first began. And a new poll by Leger Marketing reveals Canadians are becoming weary when it comes to fighting off the virus. Out of just over 1,500 Canadians polled, 57% admitted they are relaxing their safety precautions despite their growing number of cases. I've definitely eased up on the social distancing, like not going to people's houses before and stuff like that. I think I'm doing more of that now and seeing people that I know, friends and family and stuff like that and going into other houses. Quebec takes top spot when it comes to not social distancing with 43% admitting they've eased off. When it comes to masks, Quebec ties with Ontario. 35% of respondents say they don't always wear them when stepping outside the house. And those living on the prairies admit they still gather in large groups. Both Manitoba and Saskatchewan lead the pack, with 34% saying they gather despite the warnings. But the biggest surprise in the poll may come from Alberta. Not only are Albertans feeling weary about following all the safety precautions, many also believe that those safety measures are blown out of proportion. 36% of Albertans polled claim the threat of COVID-19 and the need for protective measures are exaggerated, the highest in the country, followed by Atlantic Canada. While it's Ontario with its rising case numbers that feels the threat is real and not exaggerated in the least. I don't think they're exaggerated because other countries are doing the same thing. And I know people who have had COVID now, and I didn't for quite a while. But that means that what we're doing is, is a good job. So I think that Alberta needs to you know, respect what's being asked of them. But as the number of those questioning precautions go up, so do the number of cases. Proving weary or not, Canadians shouldn't let their guard down when it comes to tackling the pandemic. For City News, I'm Mike Yanni.